Paper or plastic? It's a question that's been asked for a decade at the grocery store, but come November, that could all change. 23 ABC's Kelly Johnson spoke to policymakers about the potential plastic bag ban and the effect it could have on your wallet. Kelly. Gracie, yeah, for Kern County residents, we could all be charged for paper and plastic, but these single use plastic bags could soon be outlawed. The sight and sound of the plastic bag may soon become a thing of the past. The problem, obviously, is the overuse of single use plastic products, and in particular, in this case, the plastic bag. Environmental and community leaders spoke in Bakersfield today about Proposition 67. We are stepping away from the ethic of being a throwaway, disposable society and planet. The prop will appear on November's ballot. If state voters vote yes on Prop 67, plastic bags would be banned statewide, and there would be a charge for paper bags. It's a law that's already been implemented in some California cities. I see people that make a big deal about it, but I'm, I, just, I just give them the 10 I'm like, all right, yeah, no problem. The prop could impact oil companies. Plastic bags are made from polyethylene. Ethylene is a hydrocarbon that is produced from natural gas or petroleum. I think the oil companies should be worried. I'd be surprised if they're not backing the out of town, out of state plastic bag manufacturers in some sense. If the prop passes, shoppers would have to use reusable bags to avoid being charged. It's something some shoppers say would be easy to remember. I honestly leave them in my car and then when I'm done, I just put them back. Environmental leaders are passionate about the issue and hope voters side with them in the November election. People should vote yes on Prop 67 because it's a great vote for the environment. 23 ABC placed several calls with oil companies across town and have not heard back. Reporting live in Central Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC.